Hi guys, so um, I'm trying to make this video before I leave for work and my hair is doing some funky stuff like I'm just gonna have to get it cut because it's just too long. Um, so minimalism, sustainability, like God has really been laying that on my heart lately. In fact, um, the Bible study that we've been doing um, has been about different issues throughout the, I guess, the Christian faith that really don't get talked about in church and one of those was the environment i mean like seriously when have you heard any kind of sermon about the environment but um, god calls us to be good stewards of the stuff that we have and a lot of times we will talk about you know our money and our possessions but we don't talk about or in our time but we don't talk about the stewardship of our planet and so um We've been talking about that, but like I said, God's already been laying that on my heart. And so I've been making changes and doing stuff more minimal, um, getting rid of all the stuff in my house that I don't really need um, in kind of a three-part transition to a tiny house. This is transition one, get rid of all the stuff that we wanted and didn't really use and the things that we need. And then I'll go through later after we have all of our needs and figure out what we actually needed. <laughs> but... It's a very big work in progress because it's a very big house. Um, so today's video is about some of the ways that I have personally um, seen with other YouTubers um, when I've looked up, you know, minimalism or sustainability or something like that. Um, I'm a lifelong learner, so I'm constantly learning, and YouTube is my my classroom. <laughs> so. Um, a lot of their tips and tricks I've actually kind of implemented and I'm, I'm trying to segue away from like bottled water, but I need to, I, I feel like the Berkey system is going to be the best for us. And so until I save for that, you know, I'm trying to cut back in other ways. So one of the ways was to get this safety razor. And this one's different. I actually got this one at Walmart instead of Amazon. Um, this one's a little bit different because when you twist this bottom piece here, it actually opens up kind of like that. And it's just really weird. Um, and then the blade fits in there. It's a little flexy, um, but it is still, um, it says ice-tempered ice stainless steel. Um, this razor actually has two sides to it. So even if you, like this one has the name right there on that side. So if you use that side to shave until it's dull, then you can flip it over and use the other side. People have reported these things lasting like six months just for one blade, which obviously it's double-sided. Um, and then what you do is recycle these in a sharps container at your doctor's office. So everything is recyclable, reusable, and yeah, it works pretty good. I did dick myself <laughs> um, around my ankle. Um, so just be careful because it is a razor and it's sharp. Um, the second thing I did was um, once my, I bought Castile soap from Walmart and um, I picked this one over another one just because of the way that I guess um, the ingredients that were in it, um, that it was, that it did say it was biodegradable. Some of the other Castile soaps, they put stuff in them and then they're not biodegradable. So they try to make it seem, I guess, nicer than what they really are. So I bought Castile soap. This is again from Walmart and you don't need very much at all. So like I plan on taking my container when I get done with my body wash and actually making that my soap container. Um, I usually do no poo, but I do use conditioner. So I'm going to be hunting for a way to do a better conditioner, but um, I haven't shampooed my hair in almost a year. Um, and I do use two products on my hair. I use um, the Freeze and Shine hairspray from Paul Mitchell, and I use um, Short Sexy Hair, like they have this blue gel. And so I use those. They seem to rinse out fairly decent. Um, and then when I put the conditioner in, I kind of wash it with the conditioner, and my hair's been fine. So since the conditioner sucks, I'm going to be hunting for another way. But step one, we're going to be replacing all of our hand soaps with this. Um, and then body washes with this. The kids will not be thrilled. The kids don't like what I'm doing, but you know, my husband's all right with it. So another thing I've done is I've switched up my toothpaste. So I was using Acti Labs because it was fluoride free and I was um, a direct sales associate with them. Um, but what I have switched to again at Walmart 
Walmart's getting really good. I actually found a bunch of organic fruit, and what they do is they stash it on the bottom so people don't see it. Like, there's apples, there's oranges, there's pears. Like, it's all at the very bottom, and so people don't buy them, which is weird. Um, so the toothpaste that I really am loving, and I think I'm going to try to make it on my own because um, I've seen a few recipes. This one has um, distilled water, diatomaceous earth, xylitol. It says non-GMO xylitol, so I don't really care about that. Um, I can take that out. Benedite clay, coconut oil, activated coconut shell charcoal, um, peppermint oil, citric acid, grapefruit seed extract, sweet orange oil, potassium sorbate, which I don't want in there, rosemary oil, stevia, tea tree oil, vanilla extract, and xanthium gum. So I can simplify this into a recipe with probably just getting activated charcoal, um, diatomaceous earth, using coconut oil, distilled water, and some peppermint oil. Um, and we'll just kind of go from there. If I need to get, you know, orange oil or you know, rosemary or something like that, then I will. But I don't really like rosemary. Um, so this is vegan, gluten-free, no fluoride, no GMA, GMO, and cruelty-free. And this is what I've been using. Um, my teeth have always been yellow. In fact, when I was like nine, my um, dentist asked me if I smoked. <laughs> Hello. Um, but what is actually happening that, you know, dentists don't seem to realize is that I don't have a thick outer layer on my teeth. So the yellow dentin that is inside your teeth actually shows through a lot. And so this has actually made my teeth the whitest out of all the whitening toothpaste and um, off brands and whatever, everything that I've tried. <laughs> um, it does taste a little funky because it is clay and charcoal, <laughs> but um, I've gotten used to it. You just like force yourself to brush a few times and then you'll, you'll get used to it. Um, so yeah, this is actually hidden in the cosmetics um, over where they keep like all the Burt's Bees stuff. Um, and actually that's where this was found too. So it's not in with your regular soaps and toothpaste. It's over in, you know, hidden. Like, I don't know why they're hiding this stuff. It should be in right with Tom's. Like, I don't understand. Two more things. I'm watching my time here. So yesterday, um, I got these in the mail. And if you're a guy, plug your ears. <laughs> so um, I was joking around with a friend about um, periods. And I don't use tampons, I use pads. Um, and so, like, I was trying to figure out how to not use so many, but the Diva Cup, um, I, I just can't. I can't, I can't Diva, man. <laughs> I just can't. It's not happening. Um, so I went online and she's like, oh, you should make yours, but I just don't have time to make them and I don't want to make them. So what I ended up getting were these, which they come in little packages. Um, I have one on right now. Um, they came one day late <laughs> of my period. So um, this is kind of what they look like. And I know I folded this wrong, but they, they're just little, like maybe hand size. Um, and you just pop it in your purse and people don't know what they are because, hello, nobody does this. <laughs> they have two snaps and you unsnap them. Um, these are by Period Mate on Amazon. Um, I'm just trying these out. So this is what the inside looks like. And then there, and then these are like the wings type of things that you just bring around behind your undies and then you snap according to whatever you need. So um, I'm trying this out today and so far um, it's okay. I'm, it's a little warm because obviously it's um, material instead of like a synthetic. So my body has a hard time changing between cold and hot and so I'm kind of in the transition since I just put one on this morning um, but these are really nice I did order two packs they were like $22 and then they gave a discount if you ordered a second pack so these um, what you can do is if you know you're only going to be using like one or two a day you can put these in your purse and then you also put this in your purse this has a like a slippery lining on the inside and so you basically fold up your used ones and you put it in this, zip it and take it home. Um, and it will, 
keep them from doing things they shouldn't be doing <laughs> and letting you get them home. Um, the recommendation is just to kind of, if you have a heavy period, soak them in um, like baking soda water and then wash them, like rinse them out. But I mean, if you're a woman, you know how to take care of like the underwear that accidents happen in. And so basically you just do the same thing with these. So um, I figured that I'm spending about $4 on a package a month of pads and then these were 22 so you know like after six months like these have paid for themselves I did get two packages so the second one I got says love and it, they look the exact same way um, and that way um, I wasn't sure how well these absorb so I'll give you like updates um, on how these are and how I'm liking them for the rest of the week and, but I did buy two packs just in case um, either one starts wearing out or I find that I need to use more than five. Um, I don't always do laundry, so I'll probably just soak these, um, kind of hand wash them and let them air dry. And so if I need to use the other ones, then I will. Oh, okay. So the last thing that I've done, um, I just realized how awful I look. <laughs> like I'm just, I'm red and... I need my haircut so bad. Sorry. Squirrel. <laughs> um, the last thing I've done is I have switched over my kitty litter. So we compost everything, we recycle, and then we burn. So we don't put anything into a landfill except for the things that we thought burned but didn't burn. Um, and sometimes we don't even do that. We just bury it ourselves on our property, which is not all that good, but that's how we roll right now um, so I was having a problem because we got a cat and I have to clean her litter box every single day and that clumping litter like I don't want that in my garden and so I've been throwing the cat poop out into the compost along with the rabbit poop and the chicken poop and um, I was trying to find something a little better I know sometimes the cats don't like those um, like the pine pellets and so I went to Walmart and was looking for like alternatives I'm sorry it's morning and my eye is so itchy so here's the alternative that I've come up with and what I did was when my kitty litter needed to use more then I added some in and mixed it so that she would kind of get used to it and it wouldn't be so bad but this is what I got Ugh. Basically, it is cedar, pine, and corn, but it is really small. I'm going to bring up this little window over here. i got to figure out which way my camera's going. That's what it looks like. It just looks like um, really fine shavings, um, and it smells really good. Um, however, like let's say this one is, this is 12 pounds. It's about a dollar a pound. So... Um, if I were to buy the other kitty litter, I was spending about $8, and this I spend like $12. Um, so, But I get to compost it. So for me, the $3, and this will last me, I don't know, at least a month or so. So just, I mean, $3 extra. It's like a dollar a week extra just to, oh, and the other kitty litter I had to use two different, like two times a month. So this actually lasts better because it, the, the poop kind of sits on top and it barely coats so you can pretty much just it kind of dries it out so you can just scoop that out so you're not like grabbing a bunch of litter with the poop right. and then with the pee you're actually grabbing the litter so um, it's lasting me longer and I get to compost it so those are the things I started doing um, I hope this video was helpful and maybe you could start doing those things as well um, just start thinking about the environment and remember that even though you're you might be super young like I didn't think about it in my 20s but now that my kids are grown up and you know grandkids will be coming like within the next five to ten years like I'm starting to think about what I'm leaving them and how um, good of a steward I've been which hasn't been very well so um, thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great day